Good afternoon. I am here today with a special friend of mine, Pat Nichols, with Parents Helping Parents in Norman, I mean in Edmond. Pat is actually the one who started this organization, which is a fabulous organization. I'm going to let you tell us a little bit about that. Leslie Sipes is here to join us as well. Uh, they just came in today to talk a little bit about uh, what Parents Helping Parents does. Uh, it's a great organization. I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience. I've been very open about my son's struggles with addiction. And um, early in the game, uh, my son was 17, and he was almost 18 years old, and I thought, well, I can't take him to treatment because he's almost 18 and he'll just walk away. And I called Pat on the phone, and I said, well, I can't do that, can I? Isn't it illegal? And Pat very pointedly on the phone said, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think somebody's going to come and arrest you? <laughs> and it dawned on me, well, of course they wouldn't, you know. So I loaded him in the car and got my brother to help, and we got him to Texarkana at the time at Hazel Street. Mm -hmm. So that was about 12 years ago. And, it, and, and the road didn't end there. The road started there. It has been a, a long, long course, and um, I always just say he's good today. So, Pat, why don't you tell us about starting Parents Helping Parents? Because now there's three organizations, right? Norman, Edmond, and Tulsa. Three yes. chapters. Yes. Okay. Yes. We well, have three chapters in Oklahoma. That's correct. Right. Yeah. So how did you get this going, Pat? Well, I was frustrated, similar to, to you, but I had no one to call. And I had no idea what I was dealing with. And I was actually told I was dealing with some other issues, and nobody ever mentioned alcohol and other drugs. No one mentioned it was a disease. Now, this is back in the mid to late 90s. Right. Okay. A lot has changed since then. A lot then. has changed. And so uh, we're very fortunate to have so many resources now for parents that we didn't have then. And I was so frustrated. I said, there ought to be something, some way that we can, a parent who's in trouble can right. call someone that understands. You know and what? Because nobody really understands. That's right. That's right. Nobody like another parent can really understand because so many people think well that could never happen to my kid you know exactly. which we all thought as well right. but it's just so valuable to be able to to connect with somebody who's been there yeah and I'll be brief but I had a, I decided to meet with a, a juvenile judge in Edmond mm -hmm. uh, Alan Sinar unfortunately right. he's passed away but he is the one that met with me and gave me permission to be inside the courtroom so I could listen to the docket and then the parents with their child would go into a room and do paperwork and he allowed me to stand outside the room and I handed him a card and wow. I says why don't we get together and talk yeah. and uh, so other parents said yeah we'd love to do that and so that's how the organization got started. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. And recently you got a grant from the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services. Yes. Through them. To them. hire someone to yes. help facilitate more of these groups. Right, because everyone in Parents Helping Parents are volunteers, and mm -hmm. many of the parents that um, are, are with the organization also are dealing with a child who's addicted, and they have jobs, and they can't put forth the hours that's necessary to kind of build the organization and the type of structure we need. Right. And so this will help us do that. Right. Well, that's great. And Leslie? What is your interest in Parents Helping Parents, and what have you learned at Parents Helping Parents? We found Parents Helping Parents in 2010 when we discovered our 31-year-old son was addicted to meth. And we were in shock. Like you said, didn't ever believe mm -hmm. right. our family could be involved in this right. journey of addiction. Sure. So what we learned at Parents Helping Parents, knowing nothing about addiction, is that other people were involved in this that were just like us, not people that we think of. Everybody has a stigma. Right. And right. we realized we weren't alone. Right. We had resources of books to be able to start learning anything about addiction. Mm -hmm. And the speakers were professional people who knew things, talked like um, not just about general addiction things, mm -hmm. but right. specifics. Mm -hmm. What to do when your child gets out of treatment. Right. How do you um, notice this? How do you respond to, and it was practical, moment to moment things that we needed to know to deal with addiction. Right, right. just like a whole new vocabulary. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Chance to Change is another good resource mm -hmm. for right. people who want to learn, you know, because they have a six week course where yes, you can. It's you, excellent. It is, and mm -hmm. you can go and sit and listen to things. 
So Pat, also, I believe you have a book coming out. Yes, we do. I've been working on this for a little over a year, and I have approximately 15, I can't remember, 15 or 16 authors. Each one of them is a parent of an addicted child. Right. And the title of it is Been There, uh, Life Lessons from Parents of Addicted Children. And it'll be an electronic version, I guess mm -hmm. is what you call it, on Amazon, and it should be um, available for download uh, sometime in the middle of this month. And then after that, um, they'll be publishing a paperback book also. That's great. Yeah, well, I hope you'll bring one in so yeah. we can take a look at it and, and, yeah. and let people know about it because yeah. it is parents, it's just parents like us. Exactly. It's professionals, right. it's, uh, it's good mothers, it's good fathers, yes. it's, it's parents who've been active in their children's lives and cook dinner every night. But addiction is a disease. Mm -hmm. And if you are wired for that, you are just so much more susceptible exactly. than another person. So that's one of the toughest things for a parent to, to acknowledge and let go of is that I didn't cause it, Right. I can't cure it, yeah. and I can't control, control it. Yeah. So those are kind of the three C's, but it's really, I feel like it's sitting down with other parents um, because you know, their heart is broken just like yours. Absolutely. And but that's another good thing about parents helping parents because um, we're there to help you find the resources that will work best for you, okay? Um, and so we give you a wide variety of different resources. For instance, Chance to Change is one of them. Right. Um, we also have an app that's free that people can really? download. Yeah, it's called Parents Helping Parents Edmund. And you download the app and you can That's go awesome. into the teen section or the adult section. Mm -hmm. And there is just a multitude of different resources that you probably would not even believe was out there. Right. And it's at your fingertips. Plus, you can go in there and see when our speakers are, who our speakers are. And you can also, um, uh, you know, like I said, there's just a host of different resources that you might not be uh, aware of uh -huh. right at your fingertips. You can download it. That's great. But Parents Helping Parents uh, focuses on uh, letting people know of all the uh, different resources that's going to give them the support right. they need. For instance, one of them that I like very well, I'm very active in, is Families Anonymous. Mm -hmm. And it's a, similar to Al-Anon, except mm -hmm. it's focused strictly on parents of addicted children. Okay. All the literature, everything is all geared to parents and what they're dealing with. So as soon as you walk into the room, you're immediately at ease. I mean, right. you immediately made 20 friends yeah. just like yeah. that. Well, you do have a special bond with with parents in your same situation yes. because um, there's just something about that connection that, that you understand each other, you mm -hmm. know? So I think yeah. that's really strong. So Families Anonymous for us, uh -huh. it was twofold for um, Parents Helping Parents with Families Anonymous uh -huh. because Parents Helping Parents brought us the education mm -hmm. side of that. And of course there's support, but you don't have quite the same ability to talk to everybody as far as um, you hear the speaker and okay. you all know that you're in the same situation. Families Anonymous is a place where, as Pat said, you have friends who you know that um, you can call, people that you really develop friendships with, that it's, it's anonymous if you want to just sit there and listen, then that's all you have to do. Right. If, um, so there's no pressure. Right. It's just a comfortable place right. to come and hear other people that are in the same situation. One thing that has always struck me is every, every child is different. Every addict and alcoholic is different. But there are such strong threads of commonality that you can seek advice from another parent. You can learn from what others have tried. Sometimes it works with your child, sometimes it might not, but it gives you more ideas. And that's, that's something that, that I think we all grasp when we're in that situation, is you're looking for answers, you feel isolated, you feel alone, you feel overwhelmed, but connecting with other parents is something that really makes a difference. It does, so, it really does. Right. We didn't choose to find ourselves here, but we did. And I wanna make a point too, for all my fellow men out there that in both Parents Helping Parents and Families Anonymous, there's just as many men there as women. Absolutely. So they won't feel uh, yeah, alone. That's yeah. right, that's right. Did you wanna add something, Liz? One thing in Parents Helping Parents and Families Anonymous mm -hmm. that I found is that we're all at a different level. 
some have just been blindsided by the fact that they're even they're just in shock. dealing with this, right? And then right. others have been in the journey for a while. They've learned some things. Right. And others have kind of come through to the other side where they see their child maybe in recovery or maybe in a place that they've come to accept, the parents have come to accept that we're still dealing with this, but there's always hope. And each exactly. and every step is one that you can be of support to someone else for whatever stage they are in. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Well, Pat, we will look forward to your book coming out. Thank you. And we'll have to all check out that app. Um, you know, I always think about the saying, uh, Mother Teresa said, God doesn't choose the qualified, he qualifies the chosen. Mm -hmm. Well, we were chosen. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we were. Yes. And it's groups that, like Parents Helping Parents, that qualify you to rise to this occasion. So thank you very much for coming in. Thanks. Really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate it, too. Thank you very much. Thanks.